<laughs> it's like I made a pie plate by feel. <laughs> Uh, that look like it's in the middle? Kind of, maybe, could be. Oh, hot glue. Okay then, what this is going to be is a rock holder. Yes, a rock holder. Remember, I'll put the video up uh, there or there or there, someplace up there, where the old rock holder was. That was appropriated by a family member, so my wife needs a new holder of rocks. There, I think that's down. I think that's tight. Let's try to flatten that. Turn around, let's see what we get. Okay then. Oops. Doing it wrong, Ted. It's not supposed to be rubbing against the banjo. <laughs> oh, you thought I thought I would have learned, huh? Let's tighten down that headstock. <laughs> How did that come loose? There. <laughs> Hey, let's try this again. Listen to that vibrate. Okay. Gonna have to decide where we're going to cut it. Cut it? No. No, we're not gonna cut it. We're gonna kind of hollow it out, make it into a bowl or a dish or something. Wow, we're getting lots of tear out. Oh no, look at that, that cracked even more. I think we'll try the other cutter. This is the negative rake round cutter. Easy wood tools. rattling stuff and all my wood is falling off down there. All that wood. 
that was a pile. <laughs> Black locust, anyone? Back up here. Hey, you made it this far. You might as well like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Well, going to leave a big rim there. And I don't really want to go into that bark, so I can't come quite that far out. I should maybe mark that, huh? Let me pause you while I find a marker. There we go. Maybe this one will work. Let's see. Nope, don't want to go there. As you may have noticed, I'm using more than one camera. In addition to my Sony camcorder, I picked up a Nikasso V50 Pro action camera. Yikes, Ted! Doing multi-camera editing took considerably longer and certainly strained the abilities of my PC. Since I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro CS6, it was less than intuitive for multi-camera. Oh, more stuff falling out. I'm sure there'll be plenty of choppy transitions throughout this video. Well, somebody didn't get that exactly in the center, did he? <laughs> now a walnut trying to bite me. Turn it off, turn it on, turn it off. haven't figured out where the tool rest should be and those catches really scare me I'm gonna just raise this a little bit and try to flatten that surface off a little bit dirty and I can't see what you're recording.
would have been better if it were centered. Just saying, Ted, just saying. Adjust this in a little bit. That's not supposed to be moving. Let's tighten that up. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what to do with this hobby. Wow. I guess I'll try to clean it up a little bit. And use the negative rake of the circle bit or cutter. I don't know, scary stuff. I know, I'm not accomplishing a lot here. Put your hands in the way, Ted. Ah, hands in the way. Not even an inch deep. Lots of tear out. Certainly should have centered that better. Decade to sand that tarot out. hands are cramping up so I think I might have to be gonna be done for the day uh, I can work a little bit more I guess this isn't what I was looking for what do we got here just an inch and the whole thing is two and a half inches
need to clean up in there yet, that lip. Looks like the battery's going dead. I was probably in your way anyway, wasn't I? Those sides more squared in there, but just can't seem to do it with that cutter. Oh well. Huh, wonder what time it is. Huh, must be time to quit for the day. Okay, I'm going to try to flatten that out a little bit on the bottom. Maybe go here deeper and figure out what I'm gonna do on the bottom. still some ridges right in there. It's a little high there. Maybe I should mark that somehow. Grab myself a pencil over here. I think that crack there might be getting a little larger. Hey, Ted, why don't you put your arm in front of the camera? There's a good idea. and all that rattling. I'm thinking that's kind of what I was looking for. I might want to go a little steeper on that. But maybe not. Right into the bark right there. I better leave well enough alone, huh? Don't you think? Don't you think? Maybe put the extension on. Work around back here a little bit. I'd like to leave that bottom as flat as I can. Let me adjust the angles on the cameras and put the extension bar on there and get to work. get the shape I want because of my failure to center that. I'm eating further and further into that that bark there. 
That looks kind of hokey, Dad. Hokey, hokey, hokey. I'm just not going to be able to get past that bark. I don't want to go any deeper. I mean, I've already got it really deep on that side. Though I guess I could just make that a lip. That whole thing on that side. I don't know. Yeah, I don't really like that at all. Maybe we'll ruin it, maybe we won't. silly looking but so am I. <laughs> that's um well let's clean up the bottom a little bit and then sand it up and call it well <laughs> firewood <laughs> it ought to hold rocks down right or rocks ought to hold it down I don't know let's clean it up a little glue there. Take it off. Okay, let's sand that up. I'm not going to let make you watch all that. A little disappointed in how it turned out. Oh well. Well, I don't really like it. I contemplated taking this whole live edge lip off, but if I did, I would end up taking this bark off right here. And, uh, that part of the bowl. I mean, I guess I could do that. Kind of looks like a, I don't know, a pie plate that a third grader made. <laughs> this time we're gonna try a little bit of Howard feeding wax. <laughs> Ted, fling that around the shop, why don't you? <laughs> Okay, money shot, I guess. I sanded it up to 600 grit. Lots of hand sanding. I looked for a paintbrush to apply this with, but I couldn't find one. So we'll have to deal with scraps of paper towel to clean up. Don't really want to get it all over that bark. 
that outside because I want that as natural looking as I can get it. Okay, let's get the back side of that a little bit. How about I move you over there so you can see it? It right now occurs to me as I'm feeling the inside of that that I should have cleaned off that sawdust with some acetone or denatured alcohol because I've got that nasty brown sawdust staining up my sapwood. Okay, I guess we'll just let that set for maybe a half hour and see if we can buff it a little bit, take it off and maybe do better on the next project. Okay, I'm gonna try to remove that glue. Well, remove the bowl or whatever you wanna call this, the rock holder. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make sure everything is tight now, Ted. Uh-oh, that's not tight. Whoa! <laughs> hey, that's why you test it first. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, that's what happens when it's not centered. <laughs> huh that camera shut off wasn't even recording that can you believe that didn't even get that mistake what kind of fun is that just glued on the outside so that might just pop off really easy let's not ruin it like we did the last one the lighting's not the best is it I already said that though. Well, let's get that bottom cleaned up. Got to do a lot of sanding there. I don't know if you can really see that, but I really messed that up by gouging into there. It was actually deliberate and not deliberate. I didn't mean to do quite that, but I didn't, I wanted it a little bit concave. Maybe I better start using that chuck I bought, huh? Well, I'm not gonna make you watch this. It's gonna take hours, I think. Well, it's not perfect, but it never was going to be. Sanded up to 800 grit. There's still a little bit of a groove in there, and that's a little bit concave. It's kind of what I wanted. Let's get some denatured alcohol on there, and then put some finish on. Get that cleaned up a bit.
Okay then. <laughs> well, it's not exactly flat, but it's kind of just flat. This is, like I said, concave here. It's a little bit of a hump right there. there a little bit. Okay. Here's next. The finish. What did I do with the Howard feet and wax? Now well, that's drying. Let's throw a little bit of this inside. This Howard feeding fat wax is, what is it, beeswax and orange oil. Probably some other things to it. Okay, let's let that set and buff it up by hand because we don't have any other way to buff it. Well, here it is, for good or bad. Hopefully I'll get some stills of it. And maybe the rocks won't float away when I put them in it. <laughs> it's like I made a pie plate by feel. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> this is my rock holder. <laughs> because I have rocks from the shores of some Michigan lakes that are really pretty. So now you just told everybody what state we're in. All I did was made it look at it. <laughs> look at all the, I think that's all cool. Leaving all that there. Okay, let's go find your rocks. I can't find my rocks. I don't know what happened to them. Look at the extra little thingy there. It even smells good. That's the Howard Feed and Wax, which is beeswax and orange oil. Yeah. I love the naturalness of it and the beauty. Okay, let's it's go put, fill rocks with and get some pictures. Okay, is that all the rocks you're going to put in it? For right now. Well, my, got... boys, my boys like to pick up ones shaped like hearts and give them to me. So I've got shaped like hearts. Okay, nobody wants to see every rock in your rock collection, Maggie. Yeah, but these are cool. I mean, these are from the shores of Michigan lakes, and I just think they're pretty. And they're just all so different looking. Okay. Isn't that exciting, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> there you go to the beach, pick up more rocks, huh? There's a close-up view of her rocks. They're so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to make some derogatory comment about the vessel they're stored in, but... No, it's natural. It's gorgeous. Yeah, well, there's a lot of things natural I wouldn't want in my house. <laughs> well, we won't go there. <laughs>